I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! You got space, man, huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hi everyone, you're watching the Wrestle Rock Podcast Season 5. Uh, I'm Johnny D and I'm representing this uh, podcast with my partner Benoit. How's you going today, my friend? Yeah, fine. Uh, do, do you remember something, Joe? No, go ahead. Almost, almost two years ago, we, we received the fabulous Rujo brothers. Yes, of course. And we discussed with them about uh, their amazing wrestling career and yes. also... Jacques Rougeau uh, uh, Wrestling Academy. Yes, of course. And uh, every year, uh, Jacques Rougeau organizes a uh, wrestling competition. And just before uh, we dive into the interview with our special guest, let take, let, let's take a moment to spotlight the Wrestling Academy of Jacques Rougeau and the exciting news revealed last week. Uh, we'll thrill to announce that the winners of uh, 2024 uh, Wrestling Academy will not only have the chance to claim a prize of $10,000, but they're also embarked uh, on an unforgettable journey, making it a truly uh, a once in a lifetime experience. And uh, for discussing about that, we have none other than uh, the innovator of a uh, selfie. Uh, he is a very um, uh, a ja true legend. Japanese uh, yes, manager. Of course, of course. I'm talking about uh, Mr. Uh, Sonny Ono. How's you going today, my friend? Uh, really good. Really good. Down yeah. here in Texas. Texas is very warm today. Not very yeah. warm, but it's yeah. very nice. Nice, really cool. And uh, as we said uh, earlier, uh, you are um, you, you give a very good opportunity, uh, an incredible opportunity for the Wrestling Academy. So, can you share some details about uh, this opportunity, my friend? Well, you know, I, I met the uh, legendary Canadian uh, professional wrestler Jack Rougeau. Yeah, uh, a few months ago, and he was telling me about his contest. Yeah, and, uh, uh, to he asked me uh, what what was the pot he wanted to add to the contest winner uh, something special. Okay, and, and uh, he asked if I could make arrangement for for them to uh, the winner of the contest to be able to travel to Japan. Wow, and train at uh uh one 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 of the uh, professional wrestling school okay. um uh, in kyushu which is a southernmost island okay. was a promotion is by uh tajiri the okay. legendary WWE uh, uh uh japanese wrestler they used to call him japanese buzzsaw okay uh, and and uh it's what it's his promotion that uh uh, we have a, a connection with, okay. and uh, I, I s spoke with the president of the company, Mr. Rota. Okay, uh, and and I made an arrangement for Jock. Oh, that's awesome that you uh, that you participate for uh, the 2024 uh, anniversaries of uh, the, the the wrestling academy. But um, then we have uh, you for a, a couple of minutes. Uh, we would like uh, to discuss about uh, your uh, martial art uh, career, but also uh, your wrestling career. So uh, the first question, go ahead, my friend. Yeah, of course, uh, Mr. Olnu, uh, as an exceptional uh, martial artist, holding an eight dan black belt since uh, 2016, could, could you discuss us uh, on your passion for martial arts? Well, you know, martial arts... Is is the reason why I'm in professional wrestling? Okay. Uh, Eric Bischoff was a, uh, the president of uh, 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 WCW back in the days. Yeah. Uh, before he was the president of WCW, you know, he he was uh, uh, 
we used to travel together in, in, in mid seventies, um, okay. long time ago before either of you guys were born. <laughs> anyway, uh, we used to travel all over the country to go to competition. Um, even back in, in Canada, I won the, actually I won twice, twice, two times. I won wow. the Canadian national, uh, uh, grand championship. Wow. At, Congratulations. At, uh, Toronto. Wow. And oh. actually I have more connection. I made a movie in oh. Toronto. Cool. Uh, uh, it's called, it was, it was released in then it was called the black pearls. Okay. And I think it was released in the U S as fearless tiger, but I did a movie in Toronto and in Hong Kong. And, uh, yeah, so I have some connection and because that was my martial art day back in the days, you know, and, and, uh, um, Eric, uh, uh, and I were friends back in days from traveling to, you know, even up in, 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 in Quebec city to, uh, you know, we're young 20 year olds. Okay. All, okay. all we wanted to do was be able to fight without getting arrested. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and of course, see all the beautiful ladies, especially up in Quebec. Yeah, of course. Thank we, you. We have a good reputation <laughs> for that, you know. <laughs> yeah. And um, you are uh, a former uh, PKA uh, bantamweight kickboxing champion, of course. Uh, what was your yeah. physical uh, di dietary and uh, mental preparation like before your fights? You know, I, I wasn't... It, it, I wasn't I wasn't that great. I mean, you know, I, I fought, I won... Um, but, um, I wish I know what I know now back then. Um, okay. but you know, just, just love to test yourself. You know, that's okay. when you're a young man, just like, I think it's in our DNA to see how far we can go. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and I, I sought after competitions, uh, by traveling and, and getting into a uh, professional karate association. Um, as we were talking about earlier before the show, you know, uh, one of my teammates, for uh, a national team, uh, mm -hmm. trans world team, was uh, John Fournette from yeah. the area. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, so um, yeah, we, you know, a lot. You you meet a lot of friends and and and, uh, and people with the same passion that you have, and uh, uh, you know, of course, John Fournette was one one of the top uh, competitor. Uh, from yeah, of area, and actually top competitor in, in the U.S. and all over the world. Um, we travel all over together. We went, we went all over Europe. Um, um, I won't, you know, now, now that we're older and I'm sure he's married and has lovely wives and all that stuff. So I won't tell all the, all the story of our twenties, but, mm -hmm. uh, we had a great time. Yeah. Awesome. Well, okay. Of course. Uh, did you ever think that because of what you did in WCW's uh, lightweight division, would be remembered as one of the best in the entire professional wrestling industry. Well, no, you know, when like when you whether you are competing in martial arts, you know, people don't me doesn't know me as martial art. They know me more as as a character, yeah. Sonny Ono, um, uh, and 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 a world championship wrestling. But because I'm from Japan, I I, I can speak Japanese mm -hmm. and I can speak English, um, so. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to manage them on camera. You know, it's very difficult for uh, uh, such a great wrestler outside the country yeah. um, uh, to come to a American television and be able to, if you don't speak clear conversational English, it's very difficult to get yourself um, over as a character, you know? Yeah. So, uh, um, I was fortunate enough to be able to manage all the great um, Japanese wrestlers like Great Muda, yeah. you know, Masahiro Chono, yeah. Masa Saito, Otomo Dragon, you know, uh, Jushin Tiger, yes. you know. Um, yes. Um, so, you know, I was very fortunate and, and being able to manage those guys, you know, of course, and, and I, I speak in their behalf. Mm -hmm. So you got to remember professional wrestling the wrestling, physical part of wrestling is certainly a very important part of the product. But also you have to remember, you have to, it, it, it's, a, it's a weekly episodic television. Yeah. You have to be able to tell the story. Exactly. So, so if you cannot tell the story, if you cannot speak, it's very difficult 
Yeah. <laughs> to get yourself over. It's like watching mm -hmm. a silent movie, right? Yes. So, and so. that's why uh, for this kind of guys, it's very important to have a really good manager in uh, the guys uh, add you. So that's very uh, perfect, a perfect fit for, for these guys. So uh, for our pre-closing -pre segment, I give you a, a name and in a few words, uh, tell me something about him, right? So the first one is uh, Ernest the Cat Miller. Uh, well, Ernest is, is a martial artist. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and he still competes. Believe me, he's in his 50s. He still competes. Matter of fact, him and I are going to Japan. He, uh, he I introduced him to Kill King Kai okay. uh, martial art, which is one of, the, one of the very strong styles of martial arts. Um, uh, involves a lot of knockouts in their competitions. And Ernest is uh, uh, going to Japan to compete in one of the Kyokushin Kai tournaments. So, uh, and of course, because of his martial arts, he was actually in martial art for Eric Bischoff's son, Garrett Bischoff, mm -hmm. instructor. And and uh, um, he got introduced into, he said, hey, you, you're a great yeah. athlete. Why don't you come and be a professional wrestler? And he got involved with uh, the Glacier and, and other character, the martial art character that was in, uh, introduced in World Championship Wrestling. And, you know, he, he uh, to this day, still wrestles time to time. So, yeah. The, uh, the second one was Bull Nakano. Bull Nakano just got inducted into uh, uh, yeah. the Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. This uh, year, yeah. Yeah, I spoke to her yesterday, matter of fact. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, she'll be coming over here to do some autograph signing and stuff. Um, okay. And, and uh, you know, she looks nothing like what she looked like. If, if you saw the induction at the Hall of Fame, you, you'll know. But, yeah, she lost probably over 100 pounds, and, and she tried to be a professional golfer, an LPGA oh, golfer. Oh, ah, wow. wow. Very Interesting good to know that. Yeah. Wow. And the last one, uh, yourself, uh, Sonny Hono. Well, you know, um, I we still do a lot of uh, um, uh, I still do a lot of appearance um, time to time. I go out to some of the show. I I did a, a, a I managed Ultimo Dragon. Of mm -hmm. course, I took Sting to Japan for his last event, uh, last match. Uh, uh, teamed up as Great Muda it was Muda's yeah. retirement match in Yokohama Arena, and yeah. so I still travel with wrestling. Make an appearance for autograph signing and and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a great little gig. I get to travel and still see my friends. You're awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, just uh, <laughs> for closing our uh, segment, um, Nostradamus. It, it's all about the the French prophet. He tried to predict the future of our guests. So the. go ahead, my friend. Okay, first of all, Mister Onu, uh, thank you so much for your time uh, with us. No, no, my pleasure. Okay. Thank you. I predict to you a uh, healthy, of course, and uh, I and uh, another prediction is uh, probably you uh, you will train a future uh, Japanese martial arts uh, black belt. Yeah. Oh, okay. What 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 is the question again? No, no, that's not that's the a question. Prediction. That's a prediction because we're uh, as usual at the end of our uh, interview. We have a closing segment, and my partner. Uh, Nostradamus, Ben, it's all about the French prophet, of course, and he ah. tried to predict the future of our guests. So, uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, thank you for your generous time. This is very appreciated that you um, accept uh, our invitation for this uh, 15 minute uh, generous interview. So, uh, talk to you soon and uh, be safe. And, of, and uh, also, don't forget uh, Wrestling Academy this year. Uh, there was a very, very important prize. Um, and of course, uh, one of the, the most important prize is a, uh, a, a training in Japan. Uh, proud of yeah. you, Mr. Hono. Well, most likely the winner will be able to also be able to compete in Japan. Uh, yeah. They'll be able to perform and, and, uh, uh, kiss you for wrestling, um, event. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I would really encourage if if if, if you uh, if you're a professional wrestler, a young professional wrestler who wants to further your career, 
You know, yeah. every wrestling star out there right now has performed in Japan. You know, right. AJ Styles, who, who spoke uh, just last week, talked yeah. about how he he his persona solidified when he trained and worked in Japan. So, you know, Japan is a very important part to a professional wrestler's career. Of course. And you're going to be able to get your foot in the door uh, exactly. by going to Jack or Joe's uh, uh, you know, national competition. So I would really encourage you to participate and I will likely see you at the competition. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Hono. Thank you for having me. Goodbye. Have a great right, one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.